right now we're sitting in the motorhome of my good fishing buddy Raleigh Schmitten and Jim Passage is along with us today. We fished for steelhead earlier this winter yep. with Jim. And right here is our guide today, Don Hoffman, who I've known for years and has been a great help to me on fishing on the upper Columbia River. Put me into my biggest steelhead of the season last winter when Raleigh and I were fishing <laughs> below Wells Dam. Remember well. But where we are, we're at the banks of the Walla Walla River. Is that right, Don? Yep. Right on the bank of the Walla Walla River. Uh, in a very windy day, <laughs> which is pretty common down here, as I understand. Is that right, Don? Yep. Very windy conditions. But Don has been fishing down here for years. He knows where the big catfish are in this portion of the river. And uh, we're going to be running down the Walla Walla out into the main stem Columbia. Is that right? Right at the mouth. Right at the mouth. And Don, you've had some pretty good fishing already this year. You have, give me a, a, again the number of fish and the poundage you've put in your boat already this season. Uh, right at a, probably about 170 for about 17, 1700 pounds. 1700 pounds of catfish so far this year. And typically we are looking at uh, what, May 20th today? 21st actually and typically Don tells me that most of the large fish have moved out of this area by this time of the year but we have an unseasonably cold spring and from what Don tells me we may have hit this just about right we're gonna look at in fact what did you do yesterday for a size of fish 12 fish 17 pounds was the biggest one yeah well and the best fishing, of course, happens right just about dark and into the evening down here. And I think our plan today, we're in no hurry to get started because we're here in the middle of the afternoon. The best bite, uh, I think, Don, you were saying we could get maybe a hit an hour during the daylight hours down here after early morning. And then as we get toward evening, that's when things light up and that's when the action really gets rolling. Is that right? Yep. Last night... Uh, hit every 10 minutes. Hit every 10 minutes. And so this is my first experience for looking for big catfish here on the lower Columbia River and I can't tell you how excited we are. And we've got to thank our good friend Mr. Bill Ballantyne for arranging this trip. He's fished with Don a lot. We fished with him for steelhead this winter and in fact he's the one that arranged trip. this trip and then he couldn't make it but here we we are. miss him. <laughs> we miss him. Dave, I'm, I'm really excited about today. Uh, I've lived in this state over 60 years. I fished, I thought, for everything there was to offer in this state. And here we are with a fishery that I had not even really heard of. Uh, and, and you can hear the fish going up to nearly 20 pounds, mm -hmm. uh, fish being taken up to 30 a day. I mean, that's an amazing fishery, and, and I'm, I'm anxious to get out there and try my hand at this. That's exactly how we all feel about it, Raleigh. Well said. And the next time you see us on camera, we'll be battling some big catfish here just off the mouth of the Walla Walla River. No one is happy about having to repair a vehicle after an accident. However, I was very happy when I chose First Choice Collision Center when I needed this service. I can't say enough about how they treated me. Fast and friendly just doesn't say enough. They have amazing technology to make a damaged vehicle look like new. At First Choice Collision Center, you can expect modern service with old-fashioned values. That was my experience, and I'm sure it will be yours, too. No matter where anglers are heading, whether it's Banks Lake, Lake Roosevelt, or Rufus Woods Reservoir, they all make the same stop. That's at Big Wally's in Cooley City. Here they find everything they need for a successful day on the water. Fuel, ice, a tackle shop, and people who know what they're selling behind the counter. State and tribal licenses, even a hot breakfast or lunch. When you're on the go, don't forget to stop at Big Wally's and visit their website at BigWallysFishing.com. Hooked on toys! 
Hordes of anglers head for our area lakes as they open to fishing in the spring, but before they head for their favorite lake, they stop at Hooked on Toys in Wenatchee. Hooked on Toys is the biggest tackle store in eastern Washington, and they have everything an angler could need for a successful day on the water. You'll find the biggest selection at the best prices for all your angling needs. Located at 1444 North Wenatchee Avenue or online at HookedOnToys.com. Hooked on Toys! Your town Ford is kicking off the season with the best deals of the year. It's the Built for Tough Truck event. Great power and amazing fuel economy means no compromises. And that's what you get in a truck built for tough. Like the Ford F-150 with a powerful and efficient EcoBoost engine. The power you want and the economy you need. Or Ford Super Duty with its amazing 6.7 liter power stroke turbo diesel. If you're looking for power, payload, towing, economy, your town Ford's got the truck for you. Head to your town Ford in Eastwood Edgy. Yeah, it's not no state or wildlife or okay. right I think there's 14 of them here, 17. He show me pictures, he's gonna get a little hand out, little, little round one, take pictures of them. Down as far as he can. Whether it takes him two hits, one hit, four hits, yeah. it's going down. Okay. They already know we're here. And then uh, like I say, if if he hits it like that with the brake set. Uh, all you gotta do is go over and just take the lock off and pull the rod out and go to town. Uh, keep it tight. Motors are up. You wanna keep it, don't pump him. Don't give him no slack either. He'll find them beaver sticks just like that. That'll ruin your day. Especially if we only get one hit and he's 30 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have to screw with the drag? No. Okay. No. Usually if I'm running the clickers at night, I mean, unless you guys have operated them before, you know how they work. You gotta set the brake, and then it stops it from going. Oh, okay. If I got rookies in the boat, I'll come in behind them and turn the clicker off. We won't use it right now. We don't need it. We can, we can see the rods. You can see the rods. And like I say, the hits here lately, unless this storm's got something to do with it, sometimes they'll peck at it, but when the bite's on, these rods will go down as far as they can go. They, they won't oh, have no... no far down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then they'll start taking a line off the reel. Well, I don't have to worry about it then. Are you fishing a rod? Which one? Me? Yeah. I'm not fishing a rod. Oh, yeah. I thought you guys were fishing. No, we're fishing. Hey, he's there. Okay. Another little eater. When you get him to the boat, I'll get you to back up. I'll just hand him in. You'll know the big ones when you hook Yeah, I, that was, he did make the rod bounce, didn't he? Oh, well, he's a little nice fish. That's one of the downsides of these bigger rods. Now here's another little tip for you. Yeah, What's mud. That? When, these, that? when these white bellies are all, they'll come in, they're all solid mud. They're just laying in the mud. When they come in all slicked off like that, they're moving and feeding. Oh, that's a good Look at that. That's remember. a piece of skin. We already caught one fish on this rod. That's right. Oh, I think we'll just do the I same was, thing again. Was that bad? The goal of Battery Systems is to provide the best products combined with the most efficient service at competitive prices. I've found their people live up to this, so don't buy anything without talking to them. You should make their batteries and accessories your choice to power your vehicles and boats. This is Dave Graybill, and I choose Battery Systems to keep me running on shore and on the water. To find a Battery Systems product expert in a location near you, log on to BatterySystems.net. When you're fishing in Banks Lake, Lake Roosevelt, even Rufus Woods, the place to stay is at Cooley Playland in Electric City. They have camping and RV hookups right on the water. There's a launch with fuel and one of the best tackle shops in the area. You can get your state and tribal fishing licenses right there. Cooley Playland has been the friendly place to stay for fishermen for decades, and if you haven't camped there yet, you'll learn why. Call for reservations at 509-633-2657. Be sure to visit their website at cooleyplayland.com. It's a dream come true. For E-Tech engine sales and service and repair of all boats and motors, call Lyle's Boats and Motors in Cashmere. 663-5191. Hi. You are not going to believe this. 
I bought Pepsi Next. What's Pepsi Next? It's the new cola from Pepsi. It's got real cola taste, but 60% less sugar. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar? Mmm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> I know. It's unbelievable. Yeah. But this is the most impressive mm. thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Oh, definitely. <laughs> Let me get the camera. <laughs> I've never had anything like it. Oh, my parents are going to fly. Yeah, they're going to be so proud. Introducing Pepsi Next. Next. Drink it to believe it. Are you getting this, honey? It's going viral. In a typical year, the big females will start showing up when? About the 1st of April. Mid-March mid to the 1st of April. And they'll, they'll run through here until about probably mid-May. And then the males will move in. And the males are how big? Yeah, uh, just four to eight pounds. Every once in a while you'll pop one about 15, but they're, they're quite a bit smaller than the females. And then you, well, then of course, summer on salmon season starts and you're out of here right but you were saying that you could uh, you'd like to see me down here in june for just sheer numbers of fish yeah you come down in june you'll catch big numbers of catfish anywhere from five to eight pounds but you'll very rarely will you catch a 20. Uh, they're all up in the river spawning if you want to eat them the smaller ones are the one you want right if you want to come to play with the big ones you come early right and if you were just coming down here on your own, wanted to fish from the bank at this park, uh, Madame Dorian State Park, for example, I see a lot of people fishing from the bank. What would you suggest somebody bring for bait? Uh, just regular cut bait, sucker, squawfish, uh, any kind of fish that's running in the river that they'll feed on, uh, trout, salmon bellies work good. And you, I know you're, you're, ads. you're using circle hooks. Yeah, we and we do run circle hooks. And that's just so we, in case we miss the bite, they'll they if they run like they're supposed to hit, they will be there. What size are those circle hooks? Sixes. And we will we sometimes we will jump up if we're in a lot of big fish. If you okay. use them too small a hook and the size of mouths, you won't get them. Okay. They'll they'll take your bait and be gone. And twenty pound leader? Yeah, we run straight twenty, all the way to the hook. And these little cannonballs are what, an ounce or two? Depends on how much current we're in. We run one to three. Okay. If we get out into Columbia and some of these flats up toward the Snake River where there's no current, we'll run one. Okay. Further from the boat, the better. And I was surprised to hear how shallow you're fishing sometimes. We'll get them as shallow as a foot. 20 foot, 20 pound fish in a foot of water. Pretty amazing. Now the guys like it. They act like steelhead. They got nowhere to go but up. <laughs> Jumping catfish. Holy <laughs> cow. <laughs> there you go. Oh, you got him. A little bigger fish. Of course, this current might fool you a little bit. Right on. A little early, too. That's good. Nice. This, this is not a heavy. This, uh, this is a little see. bigger than the other ones. Let's see, I didn't hole again. See how they stay with it? Yeah. When he yeah. pulls like that, you got it. That hook just does everything you want. Okay. Well, he's bigger than you think. He's going up Yeah, he is. I always like that rod. Like, look at how them rods just bend over. <laughs> That's a nice one. Hey, decent. Come on, baby, please, Lord. <laughs> I don't think the guy's ever been to church one day in his life. Man, he was on his knees praying last night. <laughs> Look at that rod. That's the power I was talking about of the cats. See how that, you can't even move them. Yeah, I'd say that it's a little Look better fish. Yeah. Can't even move that rod, pure power. These are like salmon do. These things are just, they're, they're just got some power all the way in. I'm about two more feet of line for you. I'm not sure that's going to be possible. I love it when you got all the bend out of that rod and you can't do nothing with him. Watch the big one, right? Yeah. The seven yeah. little parking. Yeah. Good job. There's a little bit of 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 a little 
Oh yeah, look at that. That's a oh, fish. Fifteen. Nice Fifteen. Thing. Oh wow! My God, there is a. Oh, he's bigger than that. He'll go. He'll go seventeen pounds. I'll Holy bet you. cow! Nice fish, bud. Woo! Look at that. Wow. Yeah, look at that big baby. Look how clean looking that fish is. No, no marks on him. Boost him up there again. So that's what we're looking <laughs> uh, for, huh? There it is. Not bad. Still not that old a fish. He doesn't have an. He's getting an adult mouth. Yeah. He's probably a six-year-old, eight at the most. They get, they get big mouths on them like this when they're hitting that 10, 15. Mark. Yeah. Okay. Around, nice I fish. Get, I want to get a picture of this. Hey, you want to hold it? This is Dave Grayville, the fish and magician, and when I fish the Upper Columbia and the Madhow Rivers for steelhead, I stay at the Lake Pateras Inn. I can tie my boat right up out front and be minutes from the action. The famous Miller Hole on the Madhow is less than two miles away. The rooms are comfortable and surprisingly affordable, and I'll be making the Lake Pateras Inn my base camp. To learn how to book your room at the Lake Pateras Inn, log on to lakepaterasmotorinn.com or call 866-444-1985. Boating is something the whole family can enjoy, and it's surprising how affordable a new boat can be from Bob File Boats and Motors. Stop in today and take a look at the largest selection of boats in North Central Washington, including top names, Bayliner and Tahoe. Bob File Boats and Motors can help you find that boat that fits your needs. And whether it's for fishing or just a ride on the water, you can be sure your new boat will provide hours of fun for years to come. Visit the boating experts today. Bob File Boats and Motors on the Sunset Highway in East Wenatchee, the place to buy a boat. Well, I like the idea of being able to flay these like a walleye or something else. You know what I think? This is the only fish that I do with an electric knife. All my walleye and stuff I do by hand. Salmon. Uh-huh. Electric knife works very well, eh? You cut above those fins. These are the ones you should scan. Closer to the bone, sweeter to me. Boy, I'm telling you, these little cats, boy, they're... I got one guy that goes with me that when I flay him, he can pair of pliers and pull the, fin, the fins off him. Uh-huh. Cut the backbone into three pieces. He takes it home and has his wife fry them for him. He loves them. Oh. This Raleigh's one. fish. That is going to be a big fillet. <laughs> yep. That's a big one. A 25 pounder, I had to cut steaks out of it. Down the old back. Just a pain in the 
Take all a lot of the wild flavor out. You got any salt in there, Raleigh? Uh, yeah, I'm sure I do. But as you say, for this time of year, the water's still nice and chilly compared to when it usually is. So I think it was 59 yesterday. So wow, in good shape. I think yeah, we'll just put them on ice tonight and do that when we get them home. gentlemen that was quite an afternoon and evening of fishing uh, Raleigh what did you think of that first catfish that you've ever caught you know one more fish off my bucket list and I'll tell you that was a great fish uh, 16 and a half pounds by the way which uh, means even more special had a great day uh, had a fantastic guide uh, Don really knows his stuff talked to us all day long uh, really took us through the ropes of what to do. And in fact, we didn't lose a fish today. Uh, every fish we hooked, we landed. That's right. And what a unique experience to come down here, fish a whole different area of the Columbia. Uh, really, probably one of the last unknown fisheries, don't you agree, Don? There, for the numbers of fish that are available down here, yeah, there's, there's a, a lot, lot of, of opportunity. A lot of opportunity. Excellent quality fish. Thank you so much for showing us one of your favorite fisheries and even cleaning the catch. You bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, again, thanks for a great trip and uh, can't wait to do this one again sometime.